interest groups. An interest group is a collection of people and or organizations with a shared point of view who work together to advance their point of view. In other words, it's a group fighting for a cause. The goal of interest groups, which are also known as special interest groups, is to influence politicians and other government officials, political candidates, citizens, government policies, and more. When individuals join together, they gain more power as they combine resources and money. Interest groups often have a louder voice and gain easier access to politicians, candidates, and the media. Some interest groups are partisan, meaning they are closely aligned with a political party, and others are nonpartisan. In the U.S., interest groups are protected by the First Amendment, specifically the freedoms of speech, assembly, and petition. Let's examine some key methods interest groups use to advance their cause. First, they lobby politicians and government officials, meaning they try to persuade leaders to support their special interest. This may mean a lobbyist for a special interest group meets with government officials, presents information, and even testifies at hearings. Interest groups are likely to encourage members of the interest group to also make contact by making a phone call, sending an email, writing a letter, or visiting an office. Another method interest groups use is to go to court by either filing a lawsuit or providing defense services. Additionally, some interest groups try to influence elections to help favorable candidates get elected and supportive politicians get re-elected. They also advocate for their cause during elections so candidates pay more attention to their special interest. Often, interest groups try to influence citizens at large to get public opinion supportive of a particular cause. This can be accomplished by using various methods like sponsoring advertisements, sending out direct communication to people, organizing marches and protests, funding research, writing reports, articles, and books, or some other method. There are many types of interest groups. I'll highlight a few and give some real examples. Many interest groups are focused on a specific issue citizens feel strongly about, like promoting civil liberties and civil rights. Examples include the American Civil Liberties Union, the National Rifle Association, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, Human Rights Campaign, and Human Rights Watch. Another issue some interest groups fight for is environmental protection, and this is done by groups like the Sierra Club and Greenpeace. Some interest groups have a religious agenda, such as the Family Research Council and Americans United for Separation of Church and State. There are interest groups that fight for a particular ideology. For example, the Center for American Progress has a liberal ideology, and Americans for Prosperity supports the conservative ideology. Some interest groups act as a government watchdog and promote democracy, like Common Cause, Public Citizen, and the League of Women Voters. There are even interest groups made up of government officials or governments like the National Governors Association and the National League of Cities. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce looks after the interests of businesses generally, while trade associations protect the interests of a specific industry, such as the National Association of Manufacturers and the American Beverage Association. Labor unions look after the interests of workers, such as the National Education Association and the Service Employees International Union. Professional associations are for particular career professionals, like the American Medical Association for Doctors and the American Bar Association for Lawyers. I'm sure there are other interest groups that don't fit one of the categories I mentioned, but hopefully you've gained a solid introduction to different types of interest groups, as well as why interest groups exist and what they do.